Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Red Games to Come video, we're going to be discussing KB Lake and an upgrade path to it if you've currently got Sky Lake. Now, I am still a little ill, unfortunately, so this video is going to be perhaps a little shorter than uh, normal, and also if I do waffle a little bit or just kind of, you know, drift off, then you know why. Um, unfortunately, AIM is buggered off to a festival, so. <laughs> It's pretty much down to me. So this is going to be an interesting video, but I'm sure with your help we're going to get through it, right? Uh, this is also an article which is linked in the video description because at the moment I'm finding articles a bit easier because I can take my time writing them. Anywho, um, so as I said, KB Lake on Skylake has been a bit of a mystery. Primarily because Intel have been less than forthcoming when telling us, the customer, what the upgrade path is. So just to get everyone onto the uh, same page, though I think most people know this, KB Lake is the successor, and it's basically just a tweaked version of Skylake. It's gonna offer about 10%-ish performance increase with the same processor, like for like. So for example, if you've got a 6600K and replace it with a 7600K or a, or a 6700K with a 7700K, uh, 7, you're gonna get around 10% performance increase from the previous generation at the same clock speed. Great. But, despite the fact that the two processor sockets are identical, there have been some questions of whether they are actually backwardly compatible. Which obviously isn't much of a problem if you're, say, coming from Haswell and thinking of jumping on uh, KB Lake. But let's say you've already got a Skylake motherboard, or more specifically an Intel 100 series motherboard. Let's say you've got something along the lines of a 6600K and you're thinking of upgrading to a 7700K. Well, despite the fact the sockets have been identical, there hasn't been an official word of whether you can do that until now. MSI have stated they are going to be releasing BIOS support for KB Lake processors for their 100 series motherboards. I'm going to read out a very short quote. MSI, the world leading and most popular gaming component brand, is obviously very PRE and spin, but still, is pleased to announce that all current MSI 100 series chipset motherboards fully support the next generation LGA 1151 socket processors. BIOS updates are now made available via the official MSI website, end quote. Pretty short, pretty sweet. So that's the end of it, right? Well, kinda. Now, there are some definite advantages of jumping on the 200 series boards. Um, the first is, is obviously if you've got a really bad 100 series board, let's say you've got one that's not exactly uh, inclined for overclocking, you might want to make the upgrade anyway. But you're also going to be missing out on things such as the Intel Optane technology, which is going to be bought in by the 200 series. Now, I'll grant you that if you're probably just a gamer, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, I'm just saying that gaming doesn't really require that huge amount of bandwidth that Optane's going to bring in, at least for now, um, then maybe the 200 series isn't for you. And obviously there are going to be a few other benefits. For example, uh, KB Lake does bring in additional PCIe lanes, and you've got native USB 3.1 support on chip rather than relying on a third-party chip. Once again, depending on your configuration, those probably are not going to be a make or break deal. And once again, if you've already got a pretty good motherboard setup and you just fancy a quick upgrade, for example, once again, the 6600K to the 7700K, it's a pretty good option. My main concern with all of this is that, first of all, you are not guaranteed this is going to work. And the reason I say that is because obviously it's going to be down to Asus, it's going to be down to uh, Gigabyte and whomever else are producing the the uh, boards to release a BIOS upgrade and then obviously you've got to flash it and hope for the best. Which could be a bit dicey if you forget to flash it and you've sold your processor and it doesn't boot with the KB Lake CPU in it. Now I have done that before with a motherboard that hasn't supported uh, a processor with an older BIOS and one time it's worked, one time it has not worked. The time it worked the processor was not detected properly and not all of the processor cores were detected properly and the other time it just literally refused to boot so I had to put in my old processor. So your mileage is, well, going to be variable on that one. The other issue for a lot of folks is quite simple and that is known as Zen. I don't want to re tread old ground with Zen on this particular video because we've discussed it quite a bit uh, 
over the past few days and to be honest with you I don't really have much energy in me today if I want to actually edit the video but essentially Zen is going to be released at roughly the same time frame so if you are going to be have to upgrade your motherboard I suspect that for a lot of folks it's going to be like well I could upgrade get like X processor with X board or I could just go the Zen route and obviously then it's going to be down to the pricing and it's going to be a very interesting first quarter to say the least. Anyway, I'm going to get going while I've still got energy. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Once again, so sorry for not being around much the last couple of days. This flu is absolutely freaking brutal. I think about half the people I know have gotten it either from me or just from random people. And it's absolutely just ridiculous. I'll save you the gory details, but... Even now, despite my throat being better, my energy levels are about zero. I've been pretty much bedridden for the last week, which is not good. Um, and that means I've been pretty much locked in. I haven't been going to the gym. Uh, even going shopping has not been an ideal happy fun time. So I've pretty much had to have friends in a couple of days actually deliver food round because I was so sick. And I'm not joking, it has not been a pleasant time. So, hopefully over the next couple of days I'll be more back to my normal self. But, anyway, I'll save you the gory details and maybe I'll discuss it more in the podcast on Monday, assuming I'm conscious. But, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.